Okay. Mm. Okay. 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 Tell her more. Tell her. I don't tell you your name, don't stay for this one. Try. Try get your name back, please. They cannot collect it. Don't call. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And um, it's been a while, right? It's been a while. And uh, this is what I'll be taking my time. Currently, I'm in Nigeria, and um, I'm helping my sister. I was helping my sister to handle the project. So this was a project. Is what a, it was a water land, and you can see the total swamp area. So what we did here is when we are fixing the pillars. This house is on um, the plan was three bedroom flat. Okay, three bedroom standard house, and then it has twenty pillars because it was on. Um, swamp area so we have the engineer advise us to put a lot of pillars on it so these people you are seeing here are the weather that was fishing the pillars you can see the land the swamp so all this iron you are seeing here is iron for the foundation you can see how high they are those wood you are seeing they are the wood that they are going to use to brace it before casting the can the foundation right so these are the onions it was this onion this is not all we bought onion like three times like this um foundation i mean this house really um took a lot of iron because yeah, like i said it's a swamp area so people yeah, advise us that the foundation have to be high we have to buy onion so all this onion you are seeing here is 12 ml okay 12 ml and we buy 12 ml and we buy 10 ml two 10 ml, uh, 10 ml is the one they are using to brace it why those long ones are 12 ml so these are the weather doing the the, the work it was not easy though this work took um i think it took almost like one week for them to finish it so as they were working i saw those i saw these um beautiful white beds so i was like wow this is one we are kids we used to call this lakey lakey you know say lakey lakey give me white finger and they used to give us so i know this fowl we call them fowl but you can call them chicken so in nigeria we call them fowl all these fowl we're just playing around there was always they were just hustling for food and uh, you know now nigeria all man for himself and if you saw some place all this chicken they will not be running around so all this chicken they will, we call this native chicken in this place you're seeing i was throwing bread for them to eat you know so i was feeding them they were eating my bread and i was very hungry but let's say you know sharing is good so i was sharing my bread with them you can see all of them so this is correct native fowl not those one we eat in our bread that look like bread this one when you eat it if you don't have strong teeth you can't even break their bone so back to work so this is those iron you saw you saw on the floor before this is when um they were fixing it inside this um inside the foundation so they have to put the iron down first they, they will not brace the iron with wood or we'll get to that part but right here is when they were trying to fix the iron on the floor after um fixing the 20 pillars on the ground so they will brace the pillar and this um iron together before using wood uh to brace them then will not cast them with smelt sand and uh, granite right so they were still facing to where I mean, this work was not easy it was not easy and it was raining this period this was around november i was like wow it's still raining like this in november so i was like okay that's my brother right there he was <coughs> excuse me guys that's my brother right there i mean it's experience really helps me a lot because him too 
he just built his own house and his, his land was similar to this but not his own land was not that watering like this so he was using based on his experience to tell me they would do it like this they would do it like this so it truly really saved a lot of cost and um a lot of error that would have been there so he his experience i mean helps a lot so those are where the men you see they have put that one inside the water you see so they have to fix it and they will not use binding wire to bind this thing to the pillars so it will be strong you know so it was something you can see the land is very, very you can't see the, you can't even see the partitions anymore because water has taken over it was really really rainy this period and it was a very stressful job but thank god it was successful right so these are the men trying to fix uh the iron so that's the pillar the one the man on the red is trying to put together those are the pillars i mean those are one of the pillars okay so i are still doing it um that's the son of the weather that fixed the iron so i mean they were really good patient and uh, their work was very very neat okay so this is was them trying to fix it uh, I could not go close because I don't want to fall inside those water. <laughs> this water, there's a lot of um, stuff inside that you don't want them to bite you and you know, give you a skin infection or stuff like that. So I just stay far away and record them. You can see the mouse putting on boots, you know. So it was not an easy job. Even for me, that was not doing anything. It was not that me looking at them alone, I, I knew that this job was not an easy job so these are the these are the wood this wood is just the first set we bought the total wood we use here is like um i think it's more than 500 planks we use here or maybe 500 planks and we buy two by two a lot too you know so those are that is when they were fixing the iron they were fixing it now so after that so after putting the iron and in every partition of the house so they will not use this um wood to brace it all right they will not use this wood to brace it you can see these guys um i really pity for them but after everything i gave them tips because this job was not easy these are young guys you know trying to work legitly as live for money so this is after fixing everything the wood was not enough you can see the space at the back that the wood was not enough, was not enough but for me i was tired of buying wood so i tell them you know what let them um cast the front then after casting they will remove the wood and shift it back to the place the wood was has not got into so that is exactly what we did to save costs you know so you can see the thing that is not taking shape right it's looking more beautiful now right and this land is on um, 90 by 30 90 by 30 like the wideness is 30 the longness is 90 that's full plot in lagos oh this place is uh, i was trying to show you guys monkey here there was monkey I don't know if you guys can see because when they saw me they ran so this was me oh, i was thanking myself you know look at my face i look sleeping here i look tired you can see that on my face so this was before casting i was like okay at least the thing is taking shape so i can see so this is when they started casting you can see that smith sand the granite they will bring the granite later so this is the back the wood i've not got into this is when the pastor Amen. was praying on the land because in nigeria that's what we do before you start a foundation you have to call a pastor a traditional person to come and pray on the land so that everything will be successful so the pastor prayed so they started working so this is when they started casting you can see they have to put the thing on the bucket and start pouring it in those holes you know and first thing we did was dry casting because the land has a lot of water so the first thing we did was dry casting and then um, you can see there's no water on that on that stuff he's carrying on that smith so there's no water so that's so um this is my brother too praying you know in a traditional way praying you can see there's uh, that's the thing we call ore so praying you know for the land so so this place we have to hide because it was rainy so we have to hide in an uh, uncompleted building close to our building so that's him it's very big though so <laughs> so that's him so we're just chilling and talking and everything and uh, after that you can see here yeah, the rain is still falling here yeah, but work have to continue so the rain is still falling everybody's just doing the job because like i said the work has to continue 
so me i was just recording him sitting down and so this was the first stage they did on that day so i was like okay the thing is taking shape it's taking shape little by little and you can see there's still a lot of water that's a man walking on it inside rain you know so they see a lot of water on the land but we're just doing it because we have to finish it so that's why i said that you are you to are not lazy now you are you to are hard working people you know so this was when they was doing it and um everything was going extremely well you know everything was going fine and uh you know so the man was after you might have to use the wood um to, to pound it so that the thing um, can sink inside very well so this was them so after finish this front sorry guys so the front is done so i was like okay so the, remember i told you they have to remove the wood from the front they have to remove the wood and bring it back you know they have to remove the wood and um bring it back so i have to pay another people to come and remove that face, they will put at the front and put it. So, after the weekend, I went outside for the drum myself to listen to the music. So back to work. It was Monday, so everybody went back to work, and um, so this was the first place taking shape, and um, you know, I was just recording, and me, even me, said my mind was switching that at least that's okay. This thing is taking shape. So these were those were the capital trying to fix the the other section of the building, which is the back side that the wood did not get to. So this was on Saturday. I mean, no, this was on Monday of it, you know. So this is me just recording myself. I was like, okay, I'll try it. It's not easy, man. You know? So this place, you see, they're still fixing it. They're still fixing the bad side. I was like, okay. And um, so this was them. I mean, these young men, they are really, really, really hardworking. I mean, Nigeria youth are hardworking. Let's be honest. These people are really, really hardworking. And if we convert this money to dollar, it's just a peanut. But they will use their full heart to do the work you can see the foundation is very very strong this is just um granite cement and um, sand and iron strictly you know so this was them still doing um the stuff i was just recording myself so i mean that's my shadow over there you know i was really really happy at least the money that my sister spends at least whenever she come back to nigeria when she see it she will she will be happy you know so this is how it was going so this place um they were doing the last session i think this was just like two days you can see them opening the bag of smiths doing the last session these are the bricklayers working over there so and here in nigeria we use popular the popular smith which is the dangote smith and uh so november the ending of november the bag of smith in lagos was five and uh, four thousand 550 naira for a bag of cement and in this building we use more than 100 bags for this building alone i did not even expect it but the house is big honestly the house is big so this was this young man working very hard doing their thing 
you know and um i really appreciate them because they were cool they were gentle they understand themselves and they were patient you know and they were doing the job with their heart and with their mind they were really really good at what they are what they were doing you know so this is them again pouring it on the last session you can see the man again that's the bricklayer the man you see um the man you always see close to the foundation doing the you know some work yeah that's him that's the bricklayer so he's the one putting all those things that are pouring inside is the one making sure everything is in order shipping shocking in so that everything will be good you know so this is what's there mixing more sand and smelt all right so man the job was not easy i mean kudos to everybody the engineers the weather the i mean everybody the bricklayers the, the man that brought the smith everybody so this is was after everything was done everything was done yes so thank you guys for watching my channel and i will see you on the next one